Welcome everybody to Coaster Center. I'm your host Michael, and in today's video, we are going to be comparing my second and third favorite roller coasters. My second being El Toro, and my third being Nitro. They're both at my home park, Six Flags Great Adventure. Oh, and if you're wondering, my first favorite roller coaster, Fury 325. Yes, I've ridden all three of them. And I can't wait to compare these two roller coasters because they are both phenomenal rides. And yes, I do know that, w that two of them are completely different. One's an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster, the other is a BM Hyper. But that's okay. They're still amazingly intense rides. They have great airtime, they're packed with excitement. One being floater airtime, one being ejector. El Toro's the one with the ejector, Nitro's the one with the floater. Oh my gosh, great rides. And I can't wait to compare it. But before we compare them, I have to thank you guys for one of my videos, the video where I roasted Mystic Timbers, What's in the Shed, that got over 200 views. Yes, guys, thank you so much for that accomplishment. It's a small accomplishment, but it's still a big accomplishment for me. So, thank you guys so much. Alright, let's get started with this comparison. Okay. So, we're going to get started with comparing El Toro first. So, El Toro is an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster, like I said earlier in the video. And a cool fact by El Toro, about El Toro, sorry. A cool fact about El Toro is that the ride was designed by RMC. The track, the track was designed by RMC. And so, that's pretty cool. However... I do want to see RMC Hybrid though, still come to the park. Probably next to El Toro where Rolling Thunder once stood. That would be amazing. It would definitely diversify the park's roller coaster lineup even more than what it is. So I really hope to see that coming soon to Great Adventure, maybe as a 2019, 2020 attraction, maybe even sooner. I doubt it. I doubt it'll be next year. Next year probably be just like park improvements. But maybe as a 2019-2020 attraction, that would be really fun. Alright, let's get back to comparing El Toro with Nitro. So, El Toro brings you up 181 feet, drops you 176 feet at a 76 degree angle. It once was the steepest drop, so it's not the steepest drop anymore, sadly, but that's okay. The drop is still a phenomenal drop. The top speed of this ride is 70 miles an hour. It has an excellent top speed for a wooden roller coaster. The coaster itself is super glossy smooth. Couldn't it be more smooth than what it already is, unless it was a steel coaster. However, the track was designed to feel like you were riding a steel coaster. However, I have heard some complaints that El Toro was getting a bit rough, especially in the back row. But I don't, I don't buy that because when I rode it in the back row, I felt just pure smoothness riding it so it may be a bad day for El Toro that day but when I rode it it was glossy smooth um the ejector air, oh the ejector airtime is unbelievable I, I can't even say unbelievable because it's so unbelievable you so those two airtime hills after the first drop is where you get the most ejector airtime obviously also um after that first bang turn where you go into that hill that has amazing ejector airtime, and then after that uh, ejector airtime hill, the smaller one, you go through multiple bank turns, making it like a crazy ride experience. And that is possibly the best element to the ride is its ejector airtime. The lift hill is even amazing. The lift hill brings you up super high, 181 feet. It also brings you up there super fast because it's a cable lift hill not a chain lift hill meaning that it will bring you up faster than a regular lift hill than a chain lift hill and some people like it some people don't I like it because it adds to the ride and it's super fun but some people don't like it because they're really nervous about the ride and they think that it brings you to the ride even faster but that doesn't make any sense to me so that's why I love El Toro so much. Now we should get to Nitro. Alright, let's get started with Nitro. So, Nitro is a B&M hyper coaster. It goes up 230 feet. Um, the drop is insane on Nitro. 
And what I love about Nitro is that when you're on it, it feels like you are flying because um, there it's it it has a floor, but it kind of feels like you're on a floorless hyper coaster. I know it doesn't make sense at all, but when you're on it, it kind of feels like there's no floor, even though there is. Um, and that is the coolest part of the ride and the sensation of flight. Um, even though you're not flying at all, but it feels like you are. Um, the top speed of this ride is 80 miles an hour. Um, it's pretty fast. Um, yeah. The floater airtime on this is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, but, however, the only thing I don't like about this roller coaster is its color scheme. Yes, I hate it too. So, yeah. I love Nitro, but obviously not as much as I love El Toro. Um, also, the Helix after those airtime hills, that that's super intense. And then we have the smaller airtime hills before the brake run, but those don't give you much airtime. At least it doesn't give me much airtime. So, that's why I love El Toro so much. Also, it's really smooth. Like, it's about as smooth as El Toro, but it could be a little smoother to El Toro to some other person. But to me, they're about equal in terms of smoothness. But they are both phenomenal, phenomenal rides. Both located at my home park, my favorite park. Well, my second favorite park, I'm sorry. Great Adventure, but Cedar Point's a little bit better than you. Well, a lot better than you. But, I really, really enjoy both of these roller coasters. I can't get enough of these roller coasters. Every time I ride them, I have to go back in line because they're so great rides. They're so great rides. And, um, yeah, that's why I love these two coasters. Obviously, if you look at the stats, the stats of Nitro are better than the stats of... El Toro, except for the simple fact that El Toro has 4.4 G's and Nitro has 4.3 G's, um, but that doesn't make much of a difference. So, thank you guys so much for watching this coaster comparison. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Um, comment below if you like any of these two roller coasters. Comment below if your favorite roller coaster in Great Adventure, Super Great Adventure, is either. Um, Nitro or Toro, or even Kindika, maybe. Um, and yeah, make sure to um, subscribe for more amazing coaster content because I upload every, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also, make sure to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next awesome coaster video coming out Friday. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.